what a year 2021 has been. I don't know if you guys watched the previous year's year and review video, but it was quite emotional and it made a big announcement that we would be going out and doing those sorts of photography things. And then literally a few days after that went out, Boris, our prime minister here in England, decided that he would do another lockdown. So loads of our plans kind of got scrapped, cancelled, changed around. And then by the time summer came around, we were kind of in just a completely different place. So the channel kind of went through this weird metamorphosis into kind of something in the middle of what we wanted it to be and where it was before. So it will probably move a bit closer towards what we wanted it to be this next year. I think it's really important to go through what's happened in the previous period, whatever period that may be, we're gonna go for the year, calendar year, Jan to December, and also kind of like look at what you're gonna do moving forward. So we're gonna kind of cover that off in here, but, 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 we're also going to share some very exciting announcements because some things go live today. So today is the last day of the entire year, but of course, couldn't let that moment go by without something exciting happening. So as well as this video right here, I also want to uh, release two very important things and I'm going to come on to them in, in a quick sec. So last year, I have the stats for last year on the whiteboard. Um, these are the ones that we, we read out in the video. So there was a, a hundred videos, 7,000 subscribers in the year, 249,000 views, 67,000 people helped, 1.4 million minutes of content time watched, 72 countries and 14,000 likes. Now, I'm not gonna lie, things have kind of progressed since then, even though our main focus wasn't on the YouTube channel. Of course, we were here every single week and every single Friday, a video was released. In fact, we released 80 videos during 2021, not including this one. So technically, I mean, it's like 81 if we're being honest. So 81 videos were released and you guys gave them your attention, you know? You guys sat and watched four million minutes worth of time on our videos, which <laughs> which just makes, it makes me feel sorry for you because you had to watch four million minutes of me, basically. Uh, sorry about that, but hopefully it was useful for you. I think it was. We gained nearly 14,000 new subscribers to the channel, which is really cool considering what we were kind of focusing on throughout the year. And looking at my stats, I can also see that that was 700,000 views, which is a bit crazy. Now, what do these statistics matter? Why should you give a poop about them? Um, well, you don't have to, to be honest. I just think sometimes it's interesting to share what we see from this side of the screen situation because a lot of people don't know the ins and outs of what happens behind. So um, there is a team of us here and in 2021, Dan quit his job, probably in a moment of madness, to come and work full-time for me. So Dan and I now both work full-time on this little baby that we have um, and that's our job. So uh, yeah, you guys swayed Dan. I know that a lot of people are team Dan. Uh, he is very appreciative of his fan club. You know, he really is. This time, this year, we helped 250,000 people. And considering when I sat down this time, exactly today, last year, we were at, I think it was like 67,000 people we'd helped and my mind just blew. 250,000 people have been helped, hopefully, in some way by watching what we've got on the channel. And to those people, I just wanna say a massive thank you. And also for those people who watch and then say what they found useful or whatever, that's really nice for me to read because again, life behind the screen, you know, we're like very disconnected even though we're connected if that makes any sense. 
outside of YouTube world, we've done over 80 individual one-to-one -one tuition sessions online and also in person. We've even done shooting sessions online, which is um, still a work in progress, but we're getting there. And definitely was helpful for the people who did them. Um, throughout this year as well, I have been entering some different awards, not so much the monthly ones, mainly annual, but in 2021 alone, we have had four titles. So we have, I have, yeah, it is me. Okay. <laughs> I have had four titles. So I've won four titled photography awards and we have had, I think, over 55 different re recognitions, whether that's a honorable mention, whether it's a gold, whether it's a winner, whether it's a bronze, whether it's a silver, whether it's a merit, whether it's a finalist, whatever it may be, we've had like 55 so far. And that's not including the MPA's final set, which will be announced in January. So very exciting stuff happened in terms of that. We also met loads of you like loads of you at the photography show. So we exhibited there with a stand and we also had Beanie and Alfie with us. And we also did two demonstrations on the main live stage, which were really fun and really great to just see so many of you come and say hi, which is amazing. So if you're wondering what to do for 2022, then I would definitely recommend joining us at the photography show this year. I'll put the dates on the screen somewhere for, for what's happening. We've released 2.5 kinda courses, which I'm gonna come on to back in a quick sec because um, there's an exciting announcement about one of those. One was the Photoshop for Beginners course, which so many of you guys have taken and um, are now able to follow online tutorials for Photoshop without being confused or frustrated, which is great. And then we obviously also changed our in-person two-day advanced workshop into an online course, which is probably the single biggest success of the entire year. So literally hundreds of you took that course. It's a long course. It's quite complex, but it 100% teaches out exactly what to do to get the 2020 award style type of work. And um, you guys ate that up. The reviews for it have been amazing. There is nothing less than a five-star review. And it just made me feel like I was doing the right thing by switching that to online. So thank you so much. Genuinely, I really appreciate it. The last course, the 0.5, is actually the first three units of Business Bootcamp, which were released in November. The uh, fourth unit, unit four of five, is actually released today. So right now, over on the website, unit four is available for sign up. Unit four is all about sales. So selling for success, how to sell your photography work, and it's a complete lead on from unit one, two, three. So four slots in nicely there, and five are gonna pick up next year. So that's something to look forward to because unit five is all about marketing and it's going to be huge. At the moment, it's sat at 125 lessons long and I realized that I've probably bitten off a little bit more than I can chew, but I promise I will be delivering that. We also, in the middle of the year, launched the membership. So it was asked for by so many of you here on YouTube and also on other social media channels to release a, a kind of like a membership, a premium offering, whereby we delivered like deeper long form content as well as multiple other things such as individual critiques at a deep level and also things like uh, monthly live Q and A calls, uh, all sorts of other stuff happens within the membership. It also means that anybody who's a premium member gets a discount on anything in the shop, including online courses. Um, and they also uh, receive kind of stuff first, new things before other people do. So that's the premium membership. There's a super active Facebook group for all of the members. Everybody's really supportive, nice people only. There is a code of conduct that you have to agree with before you become a MTOG. So um, if becoming an MTOG is something that you have looked forward to or have been wanting to take part in, but the doors have been closed, then worry not because the second announcement that I'm delivering today is that we have opened up a brand new tier of premium membership. So 
the current membership tier is like here and it gets everything, right? But everything also includes things that take a lot of time for me to deliver. And therefore I have to put a cap on the amount of people that sit within that band. That's why the membership has been closed for so long. So what we've done is we've installed a new level of membership that sits slightly underneath the original one, removing the element that takes up the most chunk of my time basically per member. And that means that any amount of people can join this middle one, even though the top one is still gonna be gated. So at the moment right now, do not delay, the top tier has a few spaces available. So if you would like to opt for that, then go ahead and have a look. I will link the link to the overall membership information above now, but the uh, new membership tier is ready and waiting for anybody who would like to join as a member, receive our Talk Talk magazines uh, once a quarter, and also just basically get involved with all things MTalk because everybody's awesome. So why would you not? Crazy. I think that that's kind of like everything I needed to cover off in terms of, I need to remember this, 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 and this. But I also wanna throw a shout out to some new friends that I've made this year who have been really supportive. I can talk to them about all sorts of different stuff. And for that, I am eternally grateful. So as I sit here, as we bring in the end of 2021, I have to look back at the year and think, okay, didn't quite go to plan, <laughs> right? It didn't go to plan at all. But I've also gained a great deal of, of things that matter, I think, more than sticking to that original plan. So um, not only have we had this most amazing experience in terms of our, our membership, our community growing and evolving as it has done, but we've also, you know, done things outside of photography, like started building the studio and also welcome Tuna, my horse. Dan didn't want me to mention her in this video, which I think is mean because she's really important. So, um, yeah, Tuna, I think, was a big achievement this year. The dogs have been amazing. They've had a year off competing again, so hopefully we'll get out next year. But as far as I'm concerned, guys, that's that's kind of this year wrapped up. We've had an amazing year doing all sorts of weird and wonderful things. And as it looks like we may or may not be going back into another lockdown, I think we should just keep positive and keep on moving forwards. Think about what you can do rather than what you can't do. And always remember that, you know, I've got you back. So thank you very much. If you've watched to this point, you deserve a medal. Well done. Uh, go ahead and check out unit four of the Business Bootcamp online course and also our reopened brand new spaces in terms of the membership because I hope that they will give you guys what you wanted. And yes, Jim, the membership part was all for you. So hopefully you guys have got what you wanted this year. And as you settle down with your family for the holiday season, I hope that you reflect back on the year and think of all of the good things that you've done as well. Bit of a strange one this year. Isn't it? I wonder what I'll be saying next year. Uh, thank you very much for joining us for the ride. Um, I'll see you soon.